Right, I'm just gonna wait for people to join. Right, okay, let's just wait for a minute, even though we're now 45 minutes late, which is funny, really funny. Oh, today has been a rough day, everyone. Very rough. And yesterday. Hello, Ollie. Jesus Christ, I was just going to message you as well. <laughs> oh, God, today, man. Today has not been a good day for me. Let me do this Instagram story real quick. I'm live right now, everyone. Go check it out. Send to share done. Christ, man, this is not funny. I mean, it is at the same time. Right, everyone, if you could, it would be so much appreciated. Right, okay, sorry about that. If hello, Robbie. Oh my God, my two amazing best friends are actually on the stream as well. Hello, I'm so happy now. I feel welcome. I feel feel happy now. If you could. Um, the people who are joining, please go and share this video because today and yesterday has not been a great day at all. Literally, it's been so rough. Jesus Christ. Right. So, let's start on how this we are. Uh, right, okay. Let's start on why we're 47 minutes late today. So, I was expecting to arrive back at home for 8 p.m from London, um, we're not, we're actually, it's now, um, 20, uh, 2148, which is now, all, which is 948, which means we are officially 48 minutes late, because the stream was set for 8, and then it was set to 9, but 9 has now been set to now, um, but yeah, and also, another reason is because yesterday wasn't really cool at all it was just there's a lot of personal things going on at the moment in the family and it's pretty hard to cope with so i am really trying my best to do youtube at the same time everyone it's yeah so yeah and i'm not gonna start saying oh it would be so amazing if you could like and subscribe it would help out i just want to say i'm going through a lot of stuff at the moment and i want to let you know that it's not cool and it's not being great for me at all Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. <sighs> Sorry, it's just been a bit emotional as well. Right. Okay. So. Um. Let me just. Just, um, just give me a minute. Um, let's just start waiting for people to join. Stuff like that. Um, if you could share and sort of boost the stream, it would be amazing. Um. Just to get it out there more. Um, yeah. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, okay. I say let's begin. Let's just begin before anything happens. Um, <laughs> before I start. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right, okay. So, small parties. Um, small parties, yeah. Don't bring huge things because that would be a pain in the ass. You want to keep small parties simple but also cool. So if you were supposed to be a DJ as well, a DJ, <laughs> a DJ as well, you could bring your DJ up and then maybe if you can, um, what's this? I'm just gonna share that. I don't know what that is. I'm, I can't check either. Right, you know what? I'll just check. Yeah, so everyone, um, right, so small parties, do not bring absolute huge stuff, only bring basic stuff. I mean, when I mean basic stuff, I mean, a lot of DJ lights can have a lot of things compacted into them, 
So let's say, you know, that you've got the, you know, ADJ scanners and stuff like that. You could bring four of them, maybe a basic laser to go in the middle on, on, on a strobe. And then, you know, have a, sh a smoke machine. And there is your setup, basically. And DJ lights can actually bring out a lot of effects, surprisingly, um, for a DJ sort of event. I wouldn't recommend it for, like, let's say, um, a tour or maybe a festival. Don't use it for a tour because that won't be cool. But I will talk about tours in a minute on what you should do. Yeah, the classic gig bar. The gig bar, you could only bring two gig bars or even maybe one. Just put it, you know, attached to a crank stand or something. And then there is your lighting setup done, literally. Uh, that, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I've not really tried the gig bar, but I've heard a lot of cool reviews about it. Um, but yeah, right, okay. So then we're on to um, your crank stand. I knew that was going to come out, right? <laughs> okay, so, um, uh, right. So I've, this is not written down, by the way, everyone. I've also got, I, I usually have notes, like what things to talk about first. But at the moment, I'm just staring at this tape. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, right, okay. So, small part is done. Bring basic stuff, but also, like, again, a lot of, like, DJ lights do have a lot of effect compact into them. So then it's easier and faster to sell. Uh, to sell. Get a gig bar and throw vipers on top. <laughs> yeah. Very work, nice. Uh, okay, so, basically, we are on to... Pub events now, I'd say. Pub events. Um, pub stages, you know. Um, let's say if you're a small band um, and you've got a small pub sort of area to work in, um, again, don't use absolute huge stuff. I mean, that's when you can probably start using... I mean, yeah, you can use moving heads, you know, if you want for a DJ sort of party thing. Um, but pub events, yeah, start using, like, moving heads and stuff like that, and if you really want to go for that disco effect, you can if you want, but it is not my, it's not my sort of um, recommendation, you know, if you're banned, I would usually set it to, you know, a really nice sort of still sort of mode, if you don't have a lighting designer, you know, have it really cool, maybe have some little pads at the front, you know, um, maybe some, um, uh, wall lights what 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 are the wall lights oh jesus christ up lighters uh, you know that that's what i recently got booked for as well my drum teacher wanted to borrow some of my lights so all i did was got four park hands uh, at either side and have up lighters at the back and that that looked amazing i didn't actually operate as it was a small pub um sort of uh, event and they didn't really want a lighting designer anyway they couldn't afford it but it did look cool it did look pretty cool not gonna lie and that was a red and blue effect and so you know it, it had that really cool sort of nice welcoming effect and stuff like that party part there isn't a party a party without <laughs> the party part <laughs> yeah i mean you call them party parts we call them part 64s i mean you have loads of things part 64s part 56s stuff like that and, um, yeah, so maybe just, you know, have up lighters and stuff like that. Don't go for anything absolutely huge, you know. And then if you really want, you know, have a small haze machine at the back, you know, um, that makes it look really cool. Haze and smoke really does bring out the real sort of event. It it makes people welcome and it was like, oh, my God, smoke, uh, crazy, you know. And kids, you know, run about, you know. Um, I was going to say something, but I would probably get kicked off YouTube. Um, but that sounds really wrong. I was just going to say, like, kids, you know, running about, um, and stuff like that. But it was, I was just going to say something to do with drugs. But it don't matter. Forget that. All right, okay. So, yeah. Have some smoke, you know. Let makes people excited. I'm going to let go of this tape now. It's really annoying. Right, okay. So, that's really what I recommend for a small pub. But, if you have got a lighting designer, then maybe have some, like, moving lights, you know. Um, and then maybe have up lighters as well. Um, because it makes it look cool, and if you have got, that's what I was going to say, Ollie, that is what I was going to say. <laughs> Jesus Christ, right, okay, <laughs> right, so yeah, have, if you've got your own lighting designer, maybe have some moving heads about, you know, it really does, uh, make it look cool, and you know, if, if you control it off like a little, you know, maybe off the Titan one or something, 
Um, and, um, yeah, you know, sit in the corner. Maybe it's the sound guy who's actually controlling the lights as well. You know, you could have sound guy sitting there with the sound desk and then have the Titan one next to you. And it's just like, okay, I'm going to set this for this, you know, have different cues. Maybe for different positions and gobos and different looks, basically. I use flashlights with paper over the beam to change the colour. I don't have budget for anything else. I don't know what flashlights are, I'm confused. Oh, yeah, I get it now. <laughs> yeah, my voice keeps breaking. I'm so sad. Um, <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, maybe have some really cool, you know, spots moving about. And, um, yeah, right, okay, the next thing is nightclub. So, actually, this is where I can actually show pictures. Um, so... If I just go onto the Spiral Stageline website, spiralstageline.com slash store, by the way, everyone, merchandise is still available. Gallery, um, let's see, which is the club venue I did, um, club, it's not really a club, actually, it's sort of like a small venue. Right, okay, let me just switch to display. Right, okay, so as you can see here, there is a picture of a band, and this is the exchange. This was for Keithley Live. Um, there's actually a vlog if you want to go watch it. It's just called Keithley Live Festival, I think. And um, yeah, so basically what I did, what I what I did basically was I had two. Uh, actually, let me open Instagram up as well because it's got a picture of the venue. So I, I either side I had. Intimidate spot LED 350s on the front of the stage, and there are basically huge speakers um, on each side. So if I just quickly go onto the spiral stage lighting page real quick, and I go down here. Um, so this was an old pitch. This was in what? Oh, 2017. It's not that long ago then. That's when I started Instagram. So this was for Wolf 359. I had two Intimidate spot LED 350s on either side. But then I changed the whole plan, really. I had two Intimidate spot LED 350s on the front. And then I had two Intimidate spot 100 ISCs, um, on each, uh, uh, two on each speaker. Um, or I would have um, two on each side with two washers. That looks pretty cool. So I usually have two spots, 200 ISCs from Chauvet DJ, and then a wash in the middle. And then I would have the Intimidated Spot LED 350s on the floor, uh, on the front, maybe on a case, or maybe just simply on the floor. Wow, okay, I just like literally went off the chat, and it was just two viewers, and now it's gone to five. We're actually, we're actually succeeding, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. Right, I'm planning on making, so actually, let me read this um, real quick. So a torch in English terms. Um, my bad, British. I mean, I'm planning on making some merch eventually. Yeah, you should. Um, I don't know how what website you made your website on, but like I use WordPress and, and um, it's amazing. It's incredible. No problems at all. Um, but yeah. So um, what else? So we've just done venues, small venues. Now we are on. What would you say is next? So you've got the small parties you know at a house or something like that then you have got a small sort of um like a like a, a pub event and then you have got the um then you've got the venue uh you know like a club venue or something like that um what else would you <laughs> you absolute troll <laughs> you troll oh my god only that is crazy <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, that's just made my day. Right, okay, so yeah. Um, what else would you think is next? I mean, I don't want to sh go straight onto War 2 Academies and stuff like that. I unless it is, really. Um, actually, let me just view this right here. Uh, this is um, a message from... Uh, don't, no one fight. Please don't fight on this stream. Please, please joke around. But, you know, if you fight, then... Um, yeah, it's Christmas. <laughs> but, but, yeah. So, um, what else is next? So, we've got the small parties. I would say, yeah, let's just go on to our two academies now, I'd say. Um, would you say our two academies? Um, right, okay. So, yeah, I would say possibly um, our two academies now. So, our two academies, that is when you can go full out on it. If it's a big budget. Um, so, if it's a small budget, then maybe use the stuff that's in-house. And I'm talking about theatres as well here. 
So, if they've got a budget, it's like, okay, we want a floor package, we want, you know, screw these lights, we want to bring, like, all the other lights in, please, can you go hire some lights in for us? They give you money, you go out, hire loads of stuff, and come back with it. Um, so, basically, that is when you want to start mo using moving heads, you know. If it's a theatre, then maybe not, you know, you could use, you know, generic stuff that's already there. Um, but... Like, if you have, uh, you know, if you're doing, like, a tour with a band, or like I did with Ben Phillips. So, what we did with Ben, Bill ben Phillips, uh, it was a low-budget tour. Um, but what we did was, is we had two confetti cannons at either side. We had also two people on uh, confetti guns. Okay, I think, I don't know, what's this? What did I do now? I'll let get, I'll get you Argos, if it's the last thing I do. Oh, do not. Doubt me, I will point 64 sharpies straight in your eyes. Ouch, that hit him. <laughs> you know what, that's pretty funny, man. I'm not going to lie. Right, okay. So, um, yeah, uh, I completely forgot where we were now. Okay, we were on having... Uh, right, yeah. All to, so, what I did for the Ben Phillips tour is... Let me get a picture up real quick. Um, I don't know if it's the picture where we used a... Um, the LED pars. No, we did not actually. Um, so what we had was we had two confetti cannons either side, uh, pyrotechnics. So we had flashbangs, and it would normally be CO2 as well. Um, but CO2 is really for the Cardiff show. We had pyro, CO2, confetti cannons, and we did higher pointies for that one. Um, let me also um, show that one as well. Okay. Um, so yeah. Um, so we had pyro. It's always good to have special effects on tours. It really does bring out life. <laughs> to be honest, it, you know, it makes people excited. It's like, you know, there's about a big drop coming. It's like, do 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 do. You know, it's, it gives out the the effect. Why am I holding my business cards? Right. Okay. Yeah. So you know, I have special effects. You can't. I did control the stadium blasters off my quartz. That was fun. That was so fun. You do not know what it's like to control CO2 and confetti cannons at the same time. Oh my god, it was so fun. So I was just sitting there with my quartz and we're like, uh, waiting for the drop to come. It's like because at the end there was someone called uh, Hussein who performed. It was really cool. So we had the quartz. Uh, we didn't have the wing then. So I was just like, there, ready. I was like, okay, it's going to drop in a minute. And then uh, psh, I was like, is it going to work? Is it going to work? So what I did was, is I had to test it before it happened. Uh, sorry, before um, the show happened, before we put all the confetti in it. So we had CO2 um, in them stadium blasters. And so we tried it out. It, it was really cool. And also the CO2 cannons. But then... I don't know if it was my fault or their fault, but I don't want to say anyone's fault at the moment. I mean, it does sound like my fault, but you know. So what happened was, is I thought they said that, okay, whilst we're gone, it's all ready to try out. So if you want to try out, you know, just try it out. I can't remember if they said that, though. So what I did was, is I tried it out, and um, there was confetti in the cannon, um, which was a bit of a pain. So thankfully... There's always the button that, you know, the stop button. So you, what you had to do to patch in the confetti cannons is you had to do the emergency button and the fire button. So when, not the emergency button, so you have the latch button. So it starts flashing on the back of the confetti cannon. It has this effects thing and it starts flashing to let the performers know that it's about to set off. So I pressed that and I was like, okay, let's try it. Okay, stop, do that, you know. So then it stopped, which is cool. But only a tiny bit of confetti came out of that. And it was funny because it was the matinee show as well that was about to go on. Um, thankfully, there was no one there. They were the cleaners um, cleaning all the confetti up before the other show started. So one of them just looked at me and I was just like, no. <laughs> but I was like, I'm sorry, you know, you know, stuff like that. And he was all right with it. So that was all fine. So, yeah. So special effects is always good to use. And, um, yeah. All that, that sort of stuff, you know, if you're on tour with a band or maybe, you know, a performer like Ben Phillips, then start using moving heads. That is when it gives out the effect. You don't want to just use LED piles. I mean, if you want, you can, but I don't really recommend it unless you have a cool design idea, you know. Um, but yeah, so I would use moving heads like, you know, Roby products. Roby is my favourite uh, and Martin, really. Martin and Roby. So, my favourite fixture from Martin is probably the Mac Viper profile, I've got to say. And then the Mega Pointy from Roby. 
Um, but yeah, I think they're just both the same. I'm not sure, but you know. So um, yeah, always use you know. Also mix it up a little bit. Don't just have like let's say if it was a band, don't just use beams or just use spots or just use washes. Mix it up a little bit. Maybe have washes and beams, or maybe have spots, beams and washes. You know, it's cool to always have that. You know, it gives the cool effect. You see, or maybe use hybrids. Um, and um, yeah, I mean this new spider as well actually from Rob is incredible. I want to buy a pair of Mac 3Ks, well, here's, um, oh, I was just going to say, I was going to do a joke about a Mac, but I don't have an Apple Mac, so, doesn't matter, <laughs> right, okay, check your email, Mr. Jen, I will do in a minute, uh, actually, I'll do it whilst I'm speaking, so, yeah, M mix it up, don't always have it small, you know, if it's an Auto Academy tour, mix it up, you know, it gives a cool effect, what's this, Oliver Walker, buy a paper, 90p oh you bought a sticker <laughs> all right okay i'll get that prepared for you um actually i'll just give you the money back you know like if you're coming in like two weeks time i mean i don't really have to like sort of deliver it to you you can just you know because you're you, you i will i do owe you a sticker but when you come over i'll just <laughs> i'll just give you it you know you this is like you don't really need to pay for delivery then and, um, yeah, um, do you, unless you want it for delivery, it's up to you. Do you want it for delivery, or do you want it, like, now? And so, to, up to you, one of my clients has just messaged me. Why is my client messaging me at, like, 10 o'clock? Well, I can't really say anything, because I'm doing a stream at 10. And, um, you know. <laughs> right, okay, so, right, okay. Always good to have a mix of lights, washes, spots, and beams, and stuff like that. Maybe... As well, strobes and moles. The effect, my favourite effect, is having strobes and moles together at the same time. The white and the warm effect at the same time is amazing. It's just like, you know, like, at the end of a show, you know, you've got everything going off. And it's like, psh, you know, everything's there. Everyone was like clapping and stuff like that. And everyone's leaving, you know. As people say in the industry, um, mind my language here, but people call that the fuck off lights because they're bright as hell. Um, that's what we do at Shambhala, we just leave like the mall on, so it's just like, oh, I can't watch this anymore. Cleaners come up, I go check off, uh, I just check the stage, you know, just to see if everything's okay, and um, stuff like that. Blinders. Yeah, we. there's two names, I call them malls usually, blinders. I, there's two, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so, um, yeah. Basically, um, yeah, when people go, I go on stage, see if everything's okay, to see if the smoke machine has not blown up, and um, see if everything's alright, and then I power it off, and then I go to bed, and then I wake up in the morning, do it all again. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I do for festivals, um, tours, um, yeah, and also, it does depend what you're doing, so if it's a band, then have a mix. But if you are doing, like, a DJ, like Miss Dolly Walker, you know, who plays house music or maybe drum and bass or dubstep, it's cool to have beams, mostly. Have beams everywhere. So let me show you something real quick. So if I just quickly go over to my um, gallery page, let me find Boomtown. Uh, Boomtown, where are you? So this is Boomtown. And so what we did was, there was, like, a Chinese structure and... Um, what we did was all these lights are, oh god, um, all these, oh god, I've lost it now, okay. So all these moving heads are Panorama IP air beams. These, oh my god, these are probably my favourite beams. They were so bright, they were, honestly, they were brighter than the main stage. I'm not even being sarcastic. So if you type in Boomtown Vlog on YouTube, like, yeah, you can watch my vlog if you want, but other people that have done vlogs there, there's like a massive hill, um, like, sort of in, in, so in front of the stage there's a massive hill and then bang high towers as well but bang high is one of the main stages and then someone was sort of like taking a video and the beams you could see the beams from up there it was crazy and when i was programming as well i was like sort of doing a really cool pan effect like a search effect in white the beams were just striking through even on the darkest color like blue they were so goddamn bright it was crazy and um, there is a shorter version on YouTube as well um, of lighting the headliner. Just a shorter version, and it's sort of in bad quality, I'm afraid. But um, if you want, you can watch either way. Um, okay. Okay, let me just switch back to my webcam. 
Right, okay. So let's see what's going on in the chat. Does Ollie do lighting? Does Ollie do lighting? Why, of course, I love lights. Um, yeah, you do actually you do lighting. Um, you do theatre lighting. Ha! <laughs> no, I'm joking. Theatre lighting's cool. I was playing about with theatre lighting actually. I'm sad. I'm scared. I'm, I'm actually a bit scared because it's like I'm sort of getting into it slowly. Um, oh shit! I hope I didn't sh show you bank details on YouTube. I don't think I did. Right. Okay. Um. <laughs> you stupid idiot. Oh, no, I didn't actually. Don't worry. Right, so yeah. Um, so, yeah, with DJs, then that is when you can have, like, you know, if, you know, beams and stuff. Don't just have washes for DJs, because that doesn't look cool. Maybe sports or hybrids or beams, but, you know, if you have washes as well, always add beams onto it as well. Beams and washes or spots and washes. Either way, it looks cool. Just don't use just washes for like a dj performance um but when it's for bands then that's you know that's a bit of a different story really you can just have washes if you want shape gen you muppet no i did not do not worry ollie it i think yeah it was recording the webcam don't worry honestly it's fine um i'd never record my emails unless i'm requested to but yeah so yeah everyone um yeah that is what i say about it um yeah or just hybrids um but yeah okay the next thing now what i say is we've done all two academies right so we've done um we've done what have we done now we have done small parties uh we have done um oh i've completely forgot right small parties um pubs venues and auto academies so again auto academies always have a mix oh hello guy Welcome. I tried theatre ones. I don't know. It does create a really. It, it does bring out your creativity in you know, theatre. I've done it a couple of times. Um, it is fun, you know. It, I mean, you, you have Renells and stuff, and you know, it's it is fun. Not gonna lie. Um, not as fun as you know bands. What I do, but you know, you get used to things really. Like if you do more theatre than bands, and then or DJs, then you're just gonna enjoy theatre more. But if you do DJs more than bands, then you're gonna enjoy the DJs more basically. But yeah, so that is what I recommend for O2 Academies. And not as fun as the Ollie Walker set. Yeah, that's going to be fun. That's going to be cool. Right, okay, so now we're on to um, festivals. I'd say festivals are next. So festivals, again, it does depend on what stage you're doing. If it's a DJ stage, if it is a... Um, a band stage if it's a bandstand it does depend on what you're using there so if it's a bandstand the bandstand is usually small for acoustic sets just probably use like led pars and maybe have some washers and you know spots as well but just don't make it go crazy you know don't have like strobes and everything just keep it on the down low you know make it really nice and really really welcoming um, DJ stages, beams, like I said, beams or spots or hybrids or maybe washes and hybrids or washes and spots or washes and beams. Literally, don't just use washes for DJ sets, just don't. And, um, yeah, so, that, for DJs, yeah, like that, um, also lasers, you know, lasers are always cool. Ollie, I, I'll do your next set for free. Sorry, I'm loyal to Mr. Spiral Stage Lighting here. Hey, he's the man. We can work together. I'll drop an MA2 on top of his, his able. <laughs> Try me, bitch. Nah, nah, I'm joking. No, oh, that's really appreciated, Ollie. Um, but yeah, so, um, yeah. Always cool to do. Um, oh, I completely forgot. I've literally completely forgot. Um, <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Uh, DJ stages, yeah. But if you're doing a band stage, maybe if it's a main stage, then always have a mix of spots, washers, maybe beams as well. Um, you know, and don't make it the greatest stage you've ever done. You know, because it's that's when busking comes in. Um, you know, um, ETC consoles are quality. Ha ha ha. You, I, I think you, uh, I think you showed me the. Uh, I can't, FLX console guy uh, at Plaza last, not not last year, this year. Um, that was a pretty decent console, but sticking with Avo, man. Just everything, it just because everything really. 
And she, she's just, that's just Rob, that's just why everything, that's why I'm sticking with Evo. Um, but, yeah, I showed you the 088 flip. Oh, it was 088, oh my god. I think, um, I think people, fans are going to get a bit angry now. I just to sort of mixed 088 and ETC together. I'm so sorry about that. Alright, okay. So, um, is my phone on? Yes, it is, funnily enough. Um, yeah. Right, okay. Oh, dude, why are we having a console war here? We should have, like, a console roast on the stream once. Just have, like, freaking... <laughs> have podiums, invite people. Invite Guy, invite Caden, invite um, Ollie, and then maybe invite, I don't know, someone else and just play ETC or something like... Or maybe... Um, I don't know, I don't want to roast any consoles here. Um, but, yeah. Right, okay, so we have done Auto Academies next. Um, yeah, festivals, we're on festivals. So, yeah, um, make it sort of a busk rig, really. Uh, when I mean by busking rig, maybe, you know, have it like just, I mean, that's a bit boring, actually, just having trusters like that, you know. Maybe have it, you know, coming downwards, you know, like steps or something. Maybe have it, you know, like a curved sort of thing, so it goes like that and then goes like that. Um, but don't make it like, oh, let's do triangle trusses and let's make them all move and stuff like that because you don't know, like, if it's going to be like that, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm getting married to MA3 Command Wing Argos. That is slightly sad. <laughs> Question mark. Argos Lighting Design. Are you kidding? I am. Oh. Ah, cool. Amazing. <laughs> right, okay. So we have done all that. Um, festivals are done now. I'm not recommending any consoles here. The only console I recommend is Everlights, honestly. Everlights, you know. Um, but yeah, Synergy is awesome. Synergy is sick, honestly. Right, okay. Um, guy, don't bust my cover. Haha. <laughs> Still doesn't beat the OG vid with the manga. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, are you excited as well? We're gonna do some pre-programming. Are you gonna come down to HSL with me? You gotta pick me up still, actually. Um, don't forget that, cause I'm not like sitting here like, oh my god, I can't make my way there. But yeah, that's all booked. This is the only. Um, okay, I'm very excited. Also, Oli, could you please? Uh, it's up to you. Uh, I don't know if you guys wanted to, but I don't know if you and Oli are staying here. Uh, um, you and Robbie, sorry. I've used Evo a bit and it's good fun. Yes, thank you so much, guy. I saw your Instagram page and I was just probably like, you're welcome to the light side. I used Evo once. What's he, what, what's he gonna say about this? Crashed twice. <laughs> probably bees bringing his sleeping bag for HSL or at H Oh yeah, we're gonna sleep at HSL that way. <laughs> right, okay. So now we are on arenas again. Arenas, that is when you want to create, you, you know, you've got freaking massive budget. You can get almost anything you want literally get as much stuff as you can do not have like oh, we're gonna keep it simple you know maybe have some up lighting um maybe have like one laser you know pointing that that guy over there honestly you need to go full you need to this is where you need to focus because arena shows are one of the biggest shows you will ever do in your life um you want to make a good impression of yourself you know you don't want to make it basic this is when you want to create you know let your creativity out you know um, so use moving heads, use as much stuff as you can. And then that's when, you know, you really want to focus on how the trussing is laid out. You know, maybe have it come in as a triangle, maybe have it, uh, like, you know, a circle of or something like that. First time I used the Tiger Touch, it kept crashing, but when I used Tiger Touch 2, it was great. I think I watched that video, wasn't it the festival you did, I think? And my pillow. I'm bringing the decks, and Robbie B is bringing his... V bringing the VJ shit. All right, I'll bring. I don't know if he's bringing the monitor either. Could you ask him if that's okay? Because we need a monitor for his stuff um, as well. You know to do the run through. Actually, if you want as well, Ollie, after this stream, we'll carry on programming. Um, but yeah, yeah. So that is really arena shows. That is when you want to go full out on it. Have you know video screens. Have as much stuff as you can. You know this is where this is where this is where your bookings will start coming in. Like. A wall, like I was gonna say, like a waterfall, but that that's technically, yeah. So it comes in literally like that. Everyone's like, he's done an arena show. He's amazing, you know. Like he was like, oh, I've done lighting for Ariana Grande, you know. Puts it on the website. You need to promote the hell out of that. 
You need to promote the hell out of your arena shows. Technically, you need to promote the hell out of everything you possibly do. Arena shows are the best, um, according to Christian Jackson. But I like um, arena shows, and I've not done an arena show, actually. I uh, like um, tours and um, festivals. Right, okay. I'm bringing... Oh, yeah. I'll bring Vipers and Intimidator 150s. I bet the Intimidators are brighter. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. So, um, what else can we talk about? I think that's really it, to be honest. Um, I think that's really it on um, what we can really talk about and what we can use. But if you do want to watch the most cringiest video of your life, go to the Stage Lighting Recommendations video. I'm not talking about this one. I'm talking about the one years back. Probably like two years back, I don't know. Um, but yeah, Argos, Argos, get back to your catalog by two twenty five thousand five hundred lumens. Jesus Christ! <laughs> right, okay, this is gonna turn into a roast now. Okay, so yeah, um, if you want another, sh well, I'm actually doing another stream in three days. Um, that'll be pretty cool. And it's almost Christmas. I can't believe that. I can't believe I missed yesterday's episode. Everyone, I'm so sorry about that. But like I said, a lot of personal problems, and it's not being cool at all. Um, I don't know what that is, but it's Telegraph UK, so we can obviously trust that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this stream. Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be very much appreciated. I'm really sorry I did not do yesterday's episode. Again, a lot of personal problems. And I will see you later. That is the wrong, in that is the wrong scene. I'm so sorry about that. I meant to do the intro. All right, okay. I'll see you later, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. It's the holiday season and Santa Claus is coming. Up.